Guitar Revivals. I'm David. That's Elena. We're going to pull the box back off, get it set up back in here, and I'm going to start on my rear dually fenders. So you guys get to watch us struggle getting the box off now. Plan is we're going to try to slide it back, set it on this cart to help, you know, wheel it in. So, you know, still only two of us. So, yeah, let's get started. You ready for this? Here you go. Can't even reach it, but okay. Fender now, so the tire. Not on my side. Oh, okay. <coughs> slide down that board. <laughs> Alright, now let's get the card in there. Slow, I'll just carry this in. Tell me when. definitely came off easier than it went on. You agree? I do. I was talking to, I was talking to Bob. Same Bob Chris knows. <sighs> Whiskey dips, I should say. So yeah, I'm gonna catch my breath. I'll be back in a minute. So I went to the junkyard and bought a set of front fenders off the exact same truck. I'm just gonna modify them to fit on the back. I think I think it looks way better than having the dually fenders. So I gotta do some trimming. I don't know it's gonna get loud, so I'll save you guys the anguish of listening and I'll get it zipped off quick and then uh, show you progress.
kind of taking shape. So <clears throat> I still got to trim this ridge, but yeah, that's kind of what it's going to look like on there. Look like the front, hopefully. here to trim. Just checking to make sure I didn't go too far. Oh yeah, a lot more front trim. And you don't need a tool to take these on off and put them on. <clears throat> Just tighten them up good by hand. I've been doing it for years. And if you ever have one that you can't get off, just hold the button and smack it on something hard the direction you want it to loosen up and it comes loose every time. Yeah, I'm just using the floor so it uh, so I don't cut in too deep. So yeah, I'm gonna knock this little little chunk out there and test it again. So I hit this with the uh, sander pad on the grinder and just gonna touch it up, clean it up a little bit with this, and then uh, hold the fender up, eyeball it, get it uh, where I want it, and put some welds on it. something like this there's no right way or the wrong way but I do have the other side done already so I've been comparing between the two make sure my fenders are about the same width but you'll never be able to see both sides at the same time so as long as you're close So I figured out what the problem with my welder was. <clears throat> my uh, ground cable was all corroded. So I cleaned that up and it's, it's, it's working pretty good now. Yeah, I'm going to throw my shield on and throw it on a few more spots. I do have to trim this to match the other side. I just left it long for now. And then yeah, with the curve of the front fender, this is all the farther I could get out of it. So I do have to Played in some steel on the back side. Same with the front. This is, there's quite a bit of a gap, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment, let me know. It's it's different. I'll show them the other side if you want. Don't don't look at the welds too much. My welder wasn't working very well. It was probably dark over here. And with this big dent that threw me off, but I should, probably should have spent some time popping that out, but it's a work truck. It's it's not going to be a show truck. It's going to be for fun, you know. Smiles for miles. That's what we're talking about here. 
definitely be a head turner. It's hard to miss. It's, it's, it's as big as a house. Uh, I might actually be able to turn my welder down now because I had to have it on four just to be able to get it to get any kind of penetration, and now it's. Seems to be doing really well. It's actually not my welder. I borrowed it from my buddy Jimmy and two years ago. I haven't returned it yet, but he hasn't asked for it, so when he does, I'll, I'll give it back. welder now. It's looking real good. Come a little bit closer, you my kind of welder, so big and so strong. trick is to jump around. Start at one end <coughs> and come back and start at it again and just give your welds time to cool. Sorry I broke into song earlier. <clears throat> if I had a bucket, I still couldn't carry it to him. But, you made good progress tonight. It's on here. Oh, and it's not gonna fall off. A little bit about me. I'm 43. I live in northern Minnesota, closer to Lake Superior. Um, we grew up in central northern Minnesota. I was originally born in just north of Chicago. My parents, they uh, both grew up down by Chicago, and uh, my dad used to come up to Turtle River and fish, because my uncle lived up here, they'd come up and visit, and he absolutely loved the area, so first chance he got, he bought some land and, you know, started building, they started their family, there's six kids, four boys, two girls, I'm the third oldest, well, I'm the third from the oldest, and uh, I got two daughters, 22 and 19, 23 and 19, sorry, and uh, one and a half year old grandson, and Selena, she's uh, pretty much been our daughter since she was little, I always came over and visited, love her to death, good kid, but uh, yeah, I've always been into cars, I think my dad was the one that got me into it, when we were kids, We'd be, uh, well, I think it, it was just me and him when he'd do this, but we'd be, uh, he'd come up to a vehicle to go to pass him and he'd be like, Dad, pass him that way, pass him that way. So, and he had an old Ford, it was a 70, a 77 yellow six cylinder, three speed on the tree. Not a powerhouse by no means, but he'd get up close to him and then he'd punch it and he'd get as close as he could before he'd shoot into the other lane. And I absolutely loved that kind of stuff growing up. and. Yeah, I've had, I had multiple tickets before I even had my driver's license. That's, <laughs> that's, that's how I was. I'm, I've always been uh, a gearhead and always been, love being behind the wheel and having fun. But, yeah.
Well, I think I'm going to call it for tonight. I hope this episode uh, turns out good for everybody. I hope they like it. So make the plan, work the plan. So I did on this thing. It's turning out nice. I don't know if uh, I'm going to do another episode on this thing. <clears throat> I do have a set of headers and a four barrel intake. And then I got to figure out exhaust and mounting the box and yeah I gotta raise it six and a half inches I got some ideas for maybe a little bit bigger tire in the back give it a little bit of a stance maybe do some other stuff to add some weight to the back so it has so it's not such a horrible ride which if I have six and a half inches between the, the original frame and the box I can you know maybe I'll pour some cement in there and add a Add a thousand pounds to it so it has a nice uh, cushy ride all the time. But for now, I'm done. Like, subscribe, comment. I read them all. I try to respond to them all. So thanks for tuning in. Have a good night. So if you're still hanging out, next possible revival will be a late 60s. C10 or Beetle. C10, Beetle. We'll see. So, I want to thank my production crew. You're wonderful. She's also my wife. 15 years. Almost 16. 16 in December, right? Yeah. Wow. It's a long time to put up with me. So, all right. Now I'm leaving. Have a good night. Well, there it is. Dooley box. Homemade dually box. No, it uh, turned out pretty good. It's uniform. It uh, doesn't have big bulky rear fenders on it. I kind of like it. I also put a visor on it. Get the old uh, Lund treatment. But no, I think it's turning out really cool. I got a bunch more welding to do. I got some filling some sheet metal spots for gaps down here on that side and this side. And, but no. Whiskey Dents is going to bend me up a big drop bumper for the front of this thing. And then I got an idea for the back bumper. But next time you guys see this, hopefully all the welding is done and it's ready for paint. And you can send it on down to somebody else that wants it. I'd love to keep it, but I can't keep them all. So. <clears throat> Thank you. Cheers. She's big, isn't she? Yeah, I'm, I'm 5'10", so it's a good size truck. Make Shaq look small. <laughs>